We want you to be safe if you want to work on your pool equipment. We never want you to work on your pool's filter or pump with the equipment running. So today we'll learn how to turn off your pool safely. Be sure to wear rubber-soled shoes when working on your pool's equipment. Locate your pool's timer. Make sure that you're not standing in a puddle of water when you touch the pool's electrical system. If your feet are dry, open up the timer. Make sure the non-shock card is intact. When you're sure you're on dry ground and the non-shock card is intact, go ahead and turn the timer off. You should hear an audible click. Now, let's be double certain the power is off. Follow the power line from the timer to the pool sub-panel breaker. Again, make sure that you're standing on dry ground and open up the sub-panel. Locate the pool pump breaker. Turn this breaker off. Again, you should hear a click. Finally, let's relieve the pressure off the system before we do anything else. You should hear a pressure release when you perform this step. With the power off and the pressure relieved from the system, now it's safe to work on your pool equipment. Your timer may look different than the one we showed. If your non-shock card is missing and your wires are exposed, or you feel a shock when you touch the timer, please contact a pool professional or electrician immediately. If you're in a colder climate and your system has a freeze protection override, we don't recommend turning off the system or working on your pool equipment during freezing temperatures. If working on your pool's equipment is not what you want to spend your time on, please feel free, give us a call. We would be honored to free up your time.